in defense of gambling, are the reasons for someone to be in favor of gambling. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. 180 seconds, three minutes, Monday through Friday of pure Bible study. We appreciate so much you participating in this study, and we appreciate so much you sharing this with your friends. No, I'm, I'm not in favor of gambling, but I want you to realize that if you're in favor of making money, number one, if you're in favor of covetousness, if you're in favor of someone doing something foolish, if you're in favor of someone jeopardizing their soul and ultimately losing their soul in eternity, then I guess you're in favor of gambling. As a matter of fact, ask your preacher if he's in favor of those things. Preacher, are you in favor of covetousness? And he'll probably say, well, no, of course not. Well, that's what drives gambling. Now, there are many people in Southwest Virginia that says, oh, we need gambling. We need gambling so bad. You don't know how hard uh, it is out here without our economy moving the way that it should. Well, here's what I do know. Righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach to any people. Now, you can insert the name of your community. I am from Abingdon, Virginia, living up in Lebanon right now. I could insert righteousness exalts Abingdon, Virginia, but sin is a reproach to any people. Lebanon, Bristol City, Virginia. And let me ask you this, folks. What good is going to come from promoting covetousness and promoting things? Now listen to me because we're going to be talking about this next week. Promoting things that hurt people. Now, I tell you, liberal-minded people, I'm talking about people who might consider themselves politically liberal. Now, we might disagree on a lot of things, but, you know, generally speaking, politically liberal people, they care about people. And the one thing that we're going to be talking about next week is gambling hurts people. Now, how in the world could we be in favor of something that hurts people? Let's, let's stand for what's right. Let's encourage people to do what's right. Join us again next week for your Daily 180.